This video from Sum4S Help, we're taking a look at how to configure a barcode scanner to work with your ER900 series register. In this video I'm using the ER940 model, uh, but the process will be the same across all the tills in the range. The barcode scanner I'm using is an XL6200A, and again the overall process for the connecting the scanner will be the same, but as you'll see later in the video there may be some settings which are um, model specific, um, so you may need to refer to your um, scanner config guide um, for that information, but we'll show you the overall process. Um, if you've got access to the manual, um, I'm basically working from the RS232 port 1 and port 2 and configuration chart, so I'll be going through this flow chart here and then setting certain things like the bowel rates, the parity and the device function um, to get the COM port on the till to talk to the uh, barcode scanner. So this chart, if you found it, may not make a great deal of sense, but hopefully once you've seen my video, um, it'll start making more sense. So on the back of the ER900, there'll be two ports or two COM ports, uh, RS232 COM ports. I always use COM port 1 uh, for PC. So when I'm programming the tills, every till I program, obviously I'm connecting to a PC um, in order to send the programming data down. So that I always set those as COM1 and then I leave COM2 free. Or if I'm setting the till up with a barcode scanner, then I use COM2. So just be aware of that. My instructions are specifically for COM port 2. You can use COM1, um, but that's just the way I do. You'll just have to edit my video a little bit to, to get the instructions for COM1. So the scanner I'm using has got, I'll pop the till down, can't pick them both up at the same time. I'll just show you the back connector. So it's female. RS232 connector on the back of the scanner so I'll simply plug that into COM2 you'll want to tighten it up a bit so it doesn't come loose for the purposes of this video I'm not going to bother and then I'll turn the till round I just wanted to show you I think it's quite important to kind of show you every step that's just in case you make a like a, a rookie error um, but that's the that's where I plug it into so I'll put the scanner on there Plug the till in. So the till comes on, powers up, you hear the scanner beep because the scanner obviously takes its power from the um, till. You don't need to power the scanner separately. Uh, the other thing you'll need in addition to the manual and your um, barcode scanner config guide is the metal key marked C. So with the Sam Forest tills there's a service key um, which is marked C and that turns all the way around past reg, manager mode, Z mode, program mode all the way around to the service mode. I don't reg normally recommend um, going into this position because it's like dealer only settings or port config um, areas but if you need to program the port then obviously you need the key. Uh, before we get right into it just a disclaimer that obviously um, this is a free technical support video online this is normally dealer level programming, so um, you may want to consult with your local SAM4S cash register guy um, about getting this getting this sorted out. And also another thing is if you bought the till on the internet, it, some of this may already be done for you. Uh, so there's a couple of steps involved. The first one is the port configuration, which we'll run through. And the second one is the barcode scanner set up but you may want to consult the people you bought the um, hardware off to double check what has and hasn't been done. I'm going to show you everything and obviously it's up to you as to whether you follow bits of it, all of it, none of it but what I'd recommend is you watch the video all the way through first and then decide which bits are appropriate for yourselves. So um, we've turned the key around to the service mode so the first thing we're going to do is we're following the chart here, the 81 subtotal chart and we're going to set up each of the settings to get the port communicating with the scanner. So on your register, the first thing to do is because it's port 2, is you type in 81, then subtotal, and you get 232 port number 2 come up on the program, so we know we're in the right port. Then we want number 1, quantity time, and the first setting is the bowel rate. 
Um, so to shorten the video down and rather than refer back to the chart every single time, I'm just going to show you the button presses that you need to get this port set up with this scanner. So it's zero and cash for the bow rate. And then we want um, two quantity time and that takes us to the parity. Um, and then zero and cash. And then after parity we want three quantity time and that's the data bits. And that's zero and cash. And then the last one we need to edit is the device function. So that is number five. Quantity time, device function comes up. I'll just show you this one quickly. So I'm getting that, I'm not making this up, it's from, it's number five, device function. And then for scanner, we want number six. So you press six, cash, and then cash again, um, because that's the last setting you need to edit. That should be, certainly for my scanner, that should be the, the port config done. You get a little printout confirming everything you've done. So we've got baud rate 9600, parity check none, data bits eight, stop bits one, and then device function scanner. So you may just want to pop that to one side. At the end of the video, when you've done this yourself, and if it doesn't work, you may want to double check uh, the settings that your hardware requires. So now, if the scanner's already been pre-configured, what should happen when you go to the register mode and scan a barcode, is you should get a not found PLU error message. If you get that now, then you can ignore the rest of the video, um, because I'm now gonna show you how to set up the barcode scanner, because mine hasn't been configured yet, so barcode scanners need to be configured um, to work with the, the settings here in order to communicate correctly with the till. The way the barcode scanners get programmed is in the manual, they'll have a, um, a barcode um, telling it what to do for each setting. Um, so if you've got this, great. So if you've, if you've ordered it, um, it may come with this sheet or you may have to find these barcodes in the main instruction manual, but this is the one for this barcode scanner. Um, so all you do is you basically scan each barcode in sequence. So the first one, number one, beeped a few times to say you've entered the barcode scanner programming setup. And then each of these barcodes represents a setting that needs to be configured in order for it to communicate with the till. You have to do them all in sequence. And even if you get one that's a bit tricky to read, you've just got to persevere. And there we go, the last one will beep um, slightly differently to confirm that the program has been done and you're exiting the programming mode. Now, if we turn the key to reg, what I should have done was test that in the reg mode, show you that it wasn't working. Uh, but now, if we just grab a barcode, we're getting the not found enter price and press PLU um, error message. That's a good thing. That basically means that the it's all communicating. All we need to do now is to program our barcode products. So I'll do that in a separate video. Um, so if you hope this video has been helpful, um, but if you want to check out those videos, they're probably appearing on screen now, or you can subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit sam4shelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.